Welcome back guys. Today we will try to do something different uh, instead of solving a problem. Actually we're trying to do uh, to create a template for our homework assignments. It's going to be a nice looking template just to make the look of your uh, homework assignments consistent. Usually in universities or any, any engineering uh, class you are required to turn in your homework on an engineering paper and some of us will not have access to engineering paper or uh, they don't want to buy engineering paper because it's a little bit expensive so there is a way of creating your own engineering grid paper you can control the size of the grid and as a bonus you can actually if you have a pdf uh, copy of your book you can just copy the text or capture from the screen of the problem you want to use and just paste it into this paper before printing you can print your name your uh, id number your uh, the, the date you're submitting the homework or the date you did the homework and the title of the assignments uh, assignment number one two five uh, uh, the name of the course on top or in the header as i will show you right now so let's get started by just first creating a very nice looking uh, uh, homework uh, assignment papers just before i start to let you know there are so many programs you uh, you can use to create such a template and the other thing i want to mention here that there are ready to use templates you can google them under images.google.com and just type in uh, engineering paper or something and you'll find some templates you can just go ahead and print it but the way i'm going to show you today is just to customize this template for your specific course so they will look kind of professional and they're going to make your uh, life easier actually so let's let's go ahead and get started before i start i want to check something in excel i want to make sure that i'm using the correct units for uh, sizing the grids and i want to switch to this view right here which is the page layout view this is going to show me uh, the final look of my page before printing so before i do the uh, grid sizing i will go to file and options then i'll click on advanced and i will scroll down until i see ruler units you can choose the units you want you want to work with inches centimeters or millimeters it's up to you so let let me work with millimeters to start with then i click ok now if i want to size my columns or my rows the height of the row the width of the column everything is going to be in millimeters a default uh, template will be 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters grid which translates to one centimeter by one centimeter grid how do we do this i go here to this corner and select all the cells in the file or in this page then i right click on one of the columns and i scroll down to column width and i need it to be 10 millimeters hit ok and right click on the uh, row again row height is 10. okay I can see it's a little big, bit big. Uh, that would be nice for uh, like a third, a third grade or fourth grader to do math on. So I'm gonna just chop it into half. So I'll do that again. I'll go column width. Let's make that five millimeters, and the height is gonna be another five millimeters. Now they look good. If I wanna go and preview. there is nothing that's because i didn't specify the range i want to print or basically there is nothing on the page the grids you see on the screen are invisible for the printer so i go back and now i carefully highlight the one page go down okay to the end of the page and i do this which is formatting the cells okay or let me do it one more time go down you go more borders now what you do you're gonna go and select the color of the grid if you select the black they're gonna be too dark when you print 
because remember the reason we're doing this we want a printout of the whole thing I would exp experiment a little bit with the grays or the shades of the grays right here so just to look at make it look good on the screen for you guys I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna click outline and inside then I'm gonna click OK now you can maybe you can tell it's a little bit darker than before so to check we need to go to file and print again and now we can see the grids if you print this it's gonna be a little bit dark but you just for the sake of you know showing it to you guys on the screen I will keep this uh, uh, shade of gray uh, you can experiment as I told you before with the lighter shade so I'll go back now assuming that this is the grid I want to use let's go ahead and customize it okay uh, first of all I can uh, go ahead and click here and type my name John Smith and uh, ID number use number one two three one two one two three four and I can go here and do maybe CE civil engineering uh, 200 engineering statics and maybe homework number three something like that I'm gonna say October 30th or 31st or whatever in 2014 and I will do this this is a very good thing to do page open brackets clean three times hitting the spacebar backslash hitting times the spacebar three times and close it maybe here you will need to insert the number of page out of the total pages so you can keep track of the pages you uh, you will print and you compile as a final assignment uh, you can always go here and hit the space bar one two three go behind this and go one two three so you'll give it give you more room to work on and by the way this text is is 100 percent customizable so you can use whatever uh, I can go ahead and use let's see I really like one text one font so courier maybe or is it yeah courier new and I'll make it bold and I'm gonna say okay this thing career new okay same thing goes here oh no it's not saved so let's do this career oh okay and here it's gonna be the same thing COU and okay now I see that this thing is too big so I might go ahead and say one two and go here and do one two three and go here and do a three and if I select all how do you select all inside this it doesn't work so you just highlight and control B for bold and control B for bold it will look something like that. let's preview it print yes this is how it look like let's see can I zoom in yes I can this is how it look, it look like okay now uh, you can go ahead and print this and start solving the homework but if as I said if you have a copy of the uh, PDF file of the uh, textbook or if you if you happen to scan the problem you're doing uh, you can go ahead and insert the images here so let's say you wanted to say problem 1-1 one one, and maybe make that a little bit bold maybe increase the text size make that 12 and you insert the graphics here I already have a, an example I'm gonna switch to this I'm gonna copy this and go here and control V to paste it it's a little bit big so I'm gonna scale it down and move it like this okay and 
gonna go again this is the figure that comes with the problem and I'm gonna put it here it's too big let's shrink it down probably something like this and like that you can go ahead and copy this cell and put it here and solution and here you go maybe you need this cell to be underlined and this cell to be underlined okay so and of course you can uh, scroll down and you can add stuff to the uh, right here the uh, footer of the page okay and okay now this is the default layout I'm using uh, I'm leaving in the I'm leaving a big margin here and a big margin here just in case I want to use uh, to start punching holes in this side and putting in a binder but if you don't care about binders or you know that you're gonna start writing just a little bit to the right not very close you can change the margins on this page to maximize the number of grid space uh, what you do you go to file and in print you select narrow and you go back to your document you see this part is not the whole document was shifted to the left you can see what now we have a small margin on the left but this part of the document has no grid lines so what I can do I can just push this thing to the left select couple and go to format uh, format painter and highlight the side all the way down to here and now I have the same formatting go down to make sure let me preview this it looks okay from the top if I scroll to the bottom and it looks okay so one more one last adjustment is placing this now I have more room maybe I can make this figure a little bit bigger and I can make this text a little bit bigger so my final and that should look my, like my final uh, homework assignment or my final problem for the homework assignment and again if you use another page a new page the header will follow you with all the information so you have two ways after creating this you can either go ahead and uh, print this and go ahead if you know how to solve the problem in one page but if you need an extra page maybe you need to duplicate whatever you did into another page that's going to be for the pages with no figures all right uh, i hope that was uh, clear and helpful and i'll see you in the future tutorials